Hey guys, welcome back to Runner Renovations where today we're going to be taking these old lamps and we're going to make a tripod lamp out of wood. Here we go. First, I'll start by removing the hardware from the old lamp. I was so excited about this project, I didn't even think about the best way to remove the hardware, so I took a hammer to the old lamp, which was fine because it was going to be garbage anyway. When I came to my senses and the satisfaction of destroying something settled, I remembered that I could have just unscrewed the socket and pulled the wires through the bottom. This is one of those instances where you should work smarter, not harder. Next, to create the wooden legs for my tripod base, I cut a 2x4 into 1x1 one one strips using my table saw. Alright, so we have the strips for our legs. I'm going to cut the top portion of the tripod legs to 34 inches in length. Alright, for the bottom piece of our tripod leg, we're going to cut it to 24 and a half inches. After cutting the pieces of the legs to size, I sanded them smooth with a combination of my palm sander and a sanding block. Once the legs were finished, I had to create a piece at the top that would join all the legs together. I used a container to draw a circle that was four inches in diameter and then used my tape measure to mark three spots that were the same distance apart, which happened to be three and five eight inches. Once I had the spots marked dividing the circle into three equal portions, which would have been much easier to do with a compass, I took a one by one and centered it on each mark and then traced around it, serving as my three points of attachment for my legs. I used a container to trace a line and connect the three squares, which should look like an evenly spaced out letter Y. After that, I cut out the circle using my miter saw and jigsaw. Once it was cut out, I sanded it smooth with my sanding block and then marked the center of the top piece where the lamp hardware would be installed. I drilled a hole in the center that would accommodate the diameter of the lamp hardware. The bolt on the hardware wasn't long enough to go all the way through the thickness of the top piece, so I used a paddle bit to remove wood from the bottom of it, reducing the thickness of the wood and allowing me to install the nut on the bottom. All right, so this is gonna be the top of our lamp. And here I drilled a hole in the center where the lamp piece could come out and we could put the nut on it. And then we'll put our legs on each piece of, uh, that's sticking out and we're gonna have to drill a hole through the sides. Before drilling holes in the top piece, I held the legs against it to ensure they had adequate clearance as they rotated. Once I saw the spacing was good, I drilled my holes. I then marked one half of an inch from the top of my legs and drilled the corresponding hole to the top piece. I would suggest using a smaller drill bit to begin with, which will provide a good path for the larger bit. After making sure everything fit together, I installed the bottom portion of my legs. The bottom of the leg is recessed nine inches in between the two top pieces. I drilled through all three pieces of each leg where I will be using a bolt and a wing nut to hold them all together. It helps to have something to hold everything in place while you do this to make sure all the holes line up. We have all the pieces to our tripod lamp cut and ready to be stained and we're gonna be using the color Honey. I used a Minwax product for both the stain and the protective top coat. When I first started woodworking, I was so scared to stain anything because of its permanence and because I was also afraid I'd mess it up. There's no need to worry though, because staining wood is super easy. You can simply use an old rag, wipe it on, and then remove any of the excess. It really is that simple. After staining it, I used a satin finished top coat. While the wood dried, I painted my hardware, which consisted of nine three inch bolts and wing nuts with a flat black Rust-Oleum product. All right, everything's dry and ready to assemble. You'll take your shorter pieces and your longer pieces, just like this. And then we'll use our painted hardware just to put through each of them. And then we'll put a wing nut on either side. After staining and sealing the wood, the holes were a little tight for my hardware, so I went back through with my drill to make it easier to install. The bolts were the perfect length when assembling the legs, but my top piece was a little thicker than one inch, so I had to take a larger bit and drill so that the head of the screw could recess inside of the leg so that the wing nut could be tightened on the other side. I touched up each hole with a little bit of stain after assembling it. 
You'll have to forgive me, but the upcoming footage where I screwed the nut on the bottom of the lamp hardware was out of the frame. But all I did was stick the hardware through the hole in the top piece and put the nut on the bottom. All right, very excited. We have our tripod together. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the lamp part. All right, now that we have our hardware installed, we'll go ahead and feed our cord through. When installing the wire through the lamp socket, the small prong on the plug is typically the hot wire and the larger prong is the neutral wire. The brass or copper colored screw on your socket should be for the hot wire, or if you have a push-in socket like I do, it should be labeled. Now we have the hardware installed, the lamp works, time to put a shade on. If I had any advice, buy all of the lampshades at the store and then bring back the ones you don't use. The least favorite in the store actually wound up being my most favorite and is the one I actually kept. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can comment below. If you liked it, like it. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace and God bless.